You might be asking yourself, what's this giant thing behind me? Well, that's this week's project. This week, I took an old project, the fire tornado, and supersized it and made a giant fire tornado. The goal of this project was to make a fire tornado that was at least as tall as me, which is about six feet tall. So let me show you how I did it. I started with the same base as my smaller fire tornado project. Then I removed the top so I could replace it with a two foot by two foot piece of plywood. I then screwed down four pipe flanges. Once they were in place, we flipped over the plywood and made an X so we could find the center. We used this X to line up the Lazy Susan so we could screw it in place. Now we had a much bigger platform to work with, and it spins really smoothly. Next we screwed in 12 inch pipe nipples. I found some of this wire mesh material at the hardware store. We measured and cut a 7 foot by 4 foot piece. Then we formed it in a cylinder around the posts. We used some aluminum wire to hold everything together. Then we cut a piece of aluminum window screen down to the same size. We wrapped this around the wire mesh material. And then we used that same aluminum wire to hold it in place. This part was a little bit tricky, but you get used to it after you do a couple. Before going full scale, we decided to give this a test. We set a small ceramic dish in the middle to hold the denatured alcohol. We poured in some of the fuel, and ignited it. Then we set the screen back down in place. And all we had to do was give it a spin. You can just barely make out here that the tornado oh does God. form. And it goes all the way to oh. the top of the mesh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this was a good enough test to let us know that we can go ahead and make it bigger. We also realized that the fire was too hard to see out in the daylight. We were going to have to wait for nightfall. To make the screen bigger, all we did was cut a second piece of screen and hold it in place with the same aluminum wire. Then we cut another piece of aluminum window screen and held that in place with the wire as well. You can see here the wire ties we used to hold the screens together. Once night fell, it was time to give it the final test. It worked perfectly. It's definitely as tall as me. My goal was to make a fire tornado that was bigger than me, and we absolutely succeeded. That is spectacular. I went all the way to the top. A close-up shot of the vortex looks really cool too. It even looks cool when the fuel starts to run out. All in all, I'd say this project was an absolute success. So while this project was a little bit more expensive than some of my other ones, it was actually pretty simple. I got to start with the same base that I used for the smaller fire tornado and just expand it and make it larger. If I could make any improvements, it would probably be to make the base out of metal instead of wood so it's not flammable. And I would fix the upright column so that's more straight. It's a little bit bent, and I think that sometimes causes problems. Other than that, this was a fantastic project. It's one of my favorite ones I've done so far. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like or subscribe to let me know.